Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about creating a table of contents using Word 2003. So first of all, we need some headings, and here are headings, title, page, abstract, table of contents, introduction, research, plan, results, discussion of results, recommendation, appendix, and references. And we need to tell Word that these are headings. We cannot simply change the font to something larger or something bold and expect Word to know what it is that we want to do with it. We need to tell Word what it is we're going to do. So we're going to click on Format, Styles and Formatting, Heading 1. And of course you can create new headings if you like, uh, but I'm just going to use the ones that Word already has. So I've labeled these Heading 1, and I think most of us probably have subheadings. So under Results I'm going to put uh, Dallas, Austin, Fort Worth, and Houston. I'm going to highlight those all those heading two. So now I have subheadings. And I want to put my insertion point somewhere before all of these headings. So I'm making sure that my cursor is up here above the word, uh, above the first of the headings. And I'll click on insert, reference, index and tables. Make sure the tab table of contents is selected. And click OK. And notice I now have a table of contents, and all my headings have been bumped to the next page, which is fine. I can just go in and fill in the blanks, put a text after each heading as appropriate. Notice that title page, abstract, and table of contents don't need to go on the table of contents. Instead of deleting them from the table of contents, what I need to do is delete the headers themselves. So I'm going to take out title page, abstract, and table of contents. And now I'll scroll back up. I'll right click on my table of contents, update field, and you notice that those uh, headings I don't need have been automatically been taken out. Now if I do want to create a title page and use and, and of course create the heading abstract, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is use control enter to insert a page and I'll use this as my title and I can make it look like the other headings without calling it a heading. If I call it a heading uh, by clicking on this field over here Word will treat it differently than it treats regular text but I just want it to be regular text. I don't want it to show up on the table of contents. So now I'm going to put uh, Peter England, lecturer, TAMU. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to have table of contents. Highlight that. And again, turn it into Arial 16 point bold. So you see that this looks the same as this, but introduction is labeled as a heading 1, which means it will always show up in the table of contents. This heading here, table of contents, is simply Arial 16 point. It is not a heading 1, therefore it will not show up in the table of contents. All right, I need to put in my abstract. So I put my insertion point underneath my title and I hit control enter instead of just using enter and I type in abstract I highlight it Arial 16 point bold and then I can type in whatever I need there and now I have a table of contents which accurately reflects all of my headings including my subheadings you will notice that these are clickable meaning that if I mouse over a particular section I can hit control and click and it takes me right to the designated section of the document. It's very handy if you're dealing with documents uh, that are of any length and it is a requirement on your final report for my 301 class. And as an added bonus, let's stick in some page numbers real quick. We're going to view header and footer and we're going to use the header page. We're going to use a brief uh, an abbreviated version of our title. So TOC Word 
and then add one space and I'm going to put in a page number and now we have an accurate header and page number for each page as dictated by APA style which is what we have to use for this class alright so now you've got a table of contents you've got uh, some nicely formatted headings you've got a header you've got a title page you should be on your way please do let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you all in class.